I used to say I never knew that there are bad people because the silver mill is Indians. And these Indian people will, they'll quarrel with you, they'll, um, they, they will, with you they'll quarrel, they will quarrel, but after this, if they hear your head hurt you, they come in and what we could do, what we could do, what we could do, what we can do, they never had malice. No people, people have malice, they cuss and get on real bad. And, Hmm. <coughs> I came here to live, I knew uh, see, it's a bad people, it's a bad people in the world, it's a bad people in the world, I never knew that. Because where I live, Indian and Negro, everybody is one. But one particular fellow, is to call him Bongo, that fellow, my, my pain needs to be his own. His own needs to be mine. Because those days you can't handle more than a penny or three cents. Come big man. I was working, I was working Alan Peters. Friday, I smoked cigarettes, right? So I met this fellow. I came to buy groceries. I saw him with a full pack of cigarettes. I asked him for one. He told me, he said, nobody doesn't give nobody nothing these days. He never gave me the cigarette. But I also use it to work on the road as a carpenter. With Jude. But something happened to the fellow. He come, up, he come and get sick after that. A few, maybe even a year or two after that. And I asked him for the cigarette. So I was doing a watchman work up book up there and had him and the, the, the children put him in a home up there. So the day I pass him, I going up to work. He said, Chalo, give me two dollars to buy a coffee. And give him the two dollars. And if they're going up again, he said, Chalo, give me a cigarette. Give him the cigarette. Next day when I was going up, I bought her a pack of cigarettes. And I went in the home and I called him and gave him. But I was only for work. So we sit down and I bend down and we talking. So I started to cry. The only conclusion I could come to, he remember when I asked him for the cigarette. And he didn't give me. You understand? 